Okay, so I have been going back and forth with a customer about a roof cleaning job. He has an asphalt shingle roof. He needs it clean. He found us on Google. He called the number, got our answering service. Answering service relays the information to me. I get the message, look up the property, send him an estimate super fast with quote IQ. He opens it up and he responds back that, you know, he had a couple questions. So, you know, I answered the questions. He was asking how we came about uh, getting the price. And of course, uh, we use quote IQ, uh, map measure pro with the street view so we can not only measure the property but we can also see the property so we can determine if you know the square foot price needs to be adjusted based on what we can see so with that being said shipped it off and i get a message back asking a couple more questions so i'm going to give him a call it was a couple questions that i've not heard before which i thought was interesting initially i thought maybe it was going to be a red flag because maybe this guy was going to be like you know one of those picky customers but uh we're going to give him a call and uh let's see what he has to say Hello. Hey, John, this is Mike with All American. Hi, I think I was just responding to your text. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I had we were texting back and forth the other day about cleaning your asphalt shingle roof. I'd given you the price, and I, I think it was like 550 bucks, something like that. Yep. And uh, you were asking about, you know, do we apply the solution and then gently wash it off? And, and we do. And then you'd ask about availability, and I'd said Thursday. I assumed that we had, was that not scheduling, or you were just, uh, well, I'm, I'm deciding today which vendor to use based off of talking to them and the quote, but you are the leading person who, uh, who I am talking to. So gotcha. just out of curiosity, you've obviously spoken to some other people. Is your decision based on price? That's, that's part of it. Okay. Um, and then some of your other questions, um, I I've been in business for a long time. Nobody has ever asked if I'd be sending an invoice with a logo. Is that something that's important? Uh, the main reason I'm getting this done is the my insurance company has told me that I have to uh, have someone professionally clean the roof from mold to mildew. Gotcha. And they have to they have to give me a receipt. Okay, sure, that yeah. I, that, I, that I could then forward on. I, I mean, I don't need to be specific about how you construct your receipt. I just want to be sure that it's something that's a, a company receipt. Yeah. Yeah. No, we use the leading software for the home service industry. It's called quote IQ. It's actually something that I developed myself and it's pretty amazing regardless. Um, yeah. So we can provide you with, uh, with, you know, all the documentation that you need, but now you've got me asking what was the instigation or, or what was the, the, the lead up to the insurance company? Did they do an audit? Did they just stop? Yeah. So, so, uh, they sent what was a high elevation uh, aerial photo that had clearly been cropped out of something that they had photographed the entire neighborhood and then cropped my little property out of, and the resolution was terrible. And they had determined that there was branches touching my house and that there was mold and mildew on the roof. <laughs> so, so then I went and took pictures and showed them, no, there's no branches touching my my roof there's some trees that are over the roof but they're 15 feet higher than my roof they're right not, because the aerial photo you can't tell what's touching the roof sure and then i took pictures and sent it to them saying that i don't really see mold and mildew i, I guess you could say there is a, a a light streaking there is a difference in coloration which the people that have come by here to look at my house said yeah that's that's what they're talking about right it's, they looked around the neighborhood and pointed out a number of other houses that clearly have mold and mildew on it and it was super easy to see and they said my house is very, it, it's barely on there, right. but it's something, it's something that these, when I've read, these insurance companies are doing this to try to shed their books from people that live in Florida and along the coast of Georgia, because they don't want to deal with all the, uh, insuring people for the harsh weather that might come this way. Right. And, and the craziness of it. So what, what that is on your roof, it's called glowiocapsa magma. It's an algae and it actually is eating away at the components, the limestone. That's one of the major components in the asphalt shingle roof. So the longer that algae, it's an organic, you know, living organism, the longer it stays up there, it, it's, it's deteriorating the roof. So it's prematurely aging it, which is one of the main reasons why they're doing it. But the insurance, I think it's a complete scam. The insurance companies, are not paying out if they roll up to your house if you've got a claim for hail or any other kind of wind damage and hell with with you know the hurricanes and stuff we have down here 
uh, the opportunity is, is, is there. And if there's algae on the roof, because it's in, it's basically in the policy, we just don't know about it. It's something that they've just started to enforce. And so if, if they show up to do a claim and, you know, uh, to look at the property and there's that glowy ocapsa magma on the roof, they will deny the claim and you're on the hook for replacing the roof, which is crazy. Because they're going to claim that the life of the roof is over because the stuff is on it. Yeah, ex anyways. yeah, exactly right. And you were not properly maintaining the roof. And and that's because asphalt shingle manufacturers and, and you know, your home is older. You're down in Ardsley Park. So uh, that, that roof has some age to it, I'm assuming. And and yeah, with yeah. and we live in Savannah, humid, hot. It's the perfect breeding ground for this algae, uh, and so the, it's 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 a loophole for them. It's unbelievable. We had a hailstorm a few years ago, and every single property, every single house on my draw on my street had hail damage. And I want to say eighty percent of us got our roofs replaced, but State Farm didn't replace. Who, who's your insurance company? Uh, it's not State Farm. Okay. But, uh... My, my wife knows the name of them. Yeah. Anyway, they um they they denied everybody, and a couple of them was because they had uh the 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 black streaks, the algae stains. It's unbelievable. So, bottom line, we can take care of it for you. We'd love to take care of it for you. We'll get you an invoice with the logo on it, and uh, not only is it gonna you know ease the uh, the pain for the uh, insurance companies and meet the criteria that they uh, are requiring, but your house will look better too. All right, quick quick question. Yeah. Uh, the solution that you put on the the shingles that then sits a little bit and then you gently wash it off. You yeah. Know. Sodium hypochlorite uh, and a bleach mix with a surfactant. The surfactant is a soap that allows the bleach in the water to cling to the roof so the bleach can do its thing. We use sure. about a 3% solution on roofs that require more. We can get a little more aggressive, but it doesn't sound like we will have to. As far as the plant protection, which is something else that you inquired about, yep. we pre-wet and we we soak uh, all the property, you know, everything around the roof line during the entire process, so nothing is damaged. And then we, of course, after the the job is done, we rinse everything off again. Uh, like I told you in the text messages, I've been in business for over twenty years, and uh, we know what we're doing. We are licensed, we are insured, and we clean roofs every single day. So um, you're in good hands. Okay. Uh, well, you've convinced me. So yeah, we, we can get on the schedule with you. Perfect. So I already put you on the schedule for next Thursday at, I think it was like at 9 p or 9 AM. So, um, you'll get an email confirmation. And then of course the day before you'll get a little reminder that says, Hey, we're on our way. And, uh, there's no preparation on your part. We'll take care of everything. And, uh, once the work is complete, you'll get an invoice in, in the email and, uh, you can pay that online. Uh, quick question. Yep. Is it possible to move it to Friday? Yeah, of course. Fantastic. Let's, let's call it Friday. Well, gotcha. We'll be there Friday morning and uh, we'll get everything taken care of. Wonderful. Awesome. Thanks, man. Thank you. Yep. Bye-bye. So the takeaway from that conversation is the insurance companies are not our friends, but they are a pressure washing or a soft washing company's friends because they are actively going after homeowners, having them, requiring them to clean their roofs, requiring them to clean their roofs by a company that is reputable, probably has insurance, probably has licensing, and definitely has something to send estimates over. You can use Quote IQ for that. Uh, and you can use Quote IQ for free to do all of that. Um, but you can also get it for $1 for your first month at myquoteiq.com. But that's a pretty uh, interesting video. I'm glad I made the call. I'm glad I recorded it. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And don't forget to check out how to wash so you can learn how to wash roofs like we do. We put together the most intensive training the industry has ever seen. Over six hours of in-depth training on the best methods for cleaning houses, roofs, driveways, and every other surface you might encounter on a residential job site. How to wash covers, the chemicals to use, how to mix them, the equipment, the best methods to make you the most efficient and profitable you can be. Safety and property protection, specialty chemicals, as well as pro tips, and so much more. We've helped 4,500 students get their ECP certification, which means how to wash delivers and continues to deliver because it's yours to keep and review forever. We've also included an extensive extensive Q&A section in each module, which gives you even more information at your fingertips. How to wash is less than the price of one house wash, so don't wait. Click the link below.